No, 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 cheeky game. Oh, the cheeky game. It's so cheeky. I love how cheeky it is. I am going to fuse. Ah, yeah. Oh, wait, I can't. Can't do that yet. I know it's... Okay, we're good. We're fine. All right, we're fine. No, I, I, I'm not expecting you to eat at that. You're okay, you're okay. Don't be offended. Why is B? Looks so sick. Hey guys, it's me. The, the guy. <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's pal. Last time, we set out on our own. We're trying to get to a stable at the moment. If we can get to a stable, then we're going to be able to register this horse, and then we're going to get we're going to get to the meat of the potatoes of the game. Oh no! Oh no! Guys, you know, for some reason, I made these guys, these women, Russian. I. <sighs> Savak! Oh. oh, you are quite the handsome vo, aren't you? To meet in such a romantic place. Could you be the vo I was destined to fall in love with? No, no, I can tell just from the look on your face. You did not come down here to search for your tr one true- Or you did not come here to search for your one true love. That's too bad. Still, in a place as magical as this, I do believe I will finally meet the handsome vo of, of my dreams. Mm. But until then, let me tell you a rumor I heard about cherry blossom trees. Apparently, there is a strange creature called a Satori that is sometimes seen near such trees. I've never seen it myself, but I really want to. I've also heard that a Satori likes fruit. I guess I should have brought some kind of fruit with me, huh? Fruit, huh? Fruit, huh? Fruit, huh? Fruit, huh? I, I don't know why I got aggressive with that. It just, it just came out. Actually, I don't have any fruit. Huh. Oh, I guess I have something called fruit. Take my offering of fire fruit? No? Not. Oh! That's what they want. Wait, but that's not a Satori. Is this a Korok seed? Uh, up. Stand in it. Drop it. What do you mean? Okay, let's use the new tool we learned. Oh wait, that's not what we want. There we go. Yeah. Take my fruit. Take it. What? What? Why? Why is the Lord of the Mountain here? Hi. Um. Lovely view, isn't it? What is happening? What just happened? I kind of expected that we'd be able to ride it. But that's not what's going on. What is happening? Uh, hmm. I really, I really want to investigate that, but I have a stable to get to. Um, hopefully it sticks around for a little bit. I have no idea what just happened. You look really cool. You're, yeah. I like, I like your aesthetic. Uh, let's see, what would her voice be? Hello there. I hope your travels are treating you well. So, I take it, if you've struck up a conversation with a fashion-forward type like me, all the way out here, then you must also be searching for pieces of Misko's treasure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know? There was once a legendary bandit by the name of Misko, but thievery isn't what made him a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It is said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. <laughs> It may only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, 
Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out here in force, trying to find oh. it. So, fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together right here. Shall I tell you where pieces of Misko's treasure are said to be hidden? <laughs> I thought that this might strike your fancy. Your fashionable fancy, I might add. Now, do you have a map? Yeah, look at my phone. It has uh... Google Maps. Here's what I've heard. A piece of a fairly wild outfit from Misko's collection, said to fill the wearer with power, is somewhere around here. A piece from a quite stylish outfit from Misko's collection, said to let you quickly climb cliffs, might be here. A piece from a very snappy outfit from Misko's collection, said to keep you safe in lightning, is around here. <laughs> All of these details come from my various fashion-forward friends, who travel in other regions. But I'm not quite sure any of these treasures are quite right for me, given I don't like to battle and I don't climb cliffs. So if you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure such styles could come in handy. Ah. That reminds me, do you know about the Great Fairies? Unfortunately, yes, but continue. Ah. The Great Fairies have long existed throughout Hyrule and have been known to bless clothing, since they wear so little of it. <clears throat> but since so much ugliness came to our land, I've heard that they've withdrawn from view. Though I think one of them was seen near the woodland stable to the northeast recently. What's that about? I wonder. <gasps> oh, sorry, I've gone on and on. It's been a while since I've been able to talk fashion with anyone. Time for me to get back to, out back to searching for Misko's legendary outfits. Good luck, and goodbye. It- this is- nuts to me. Uh, that's not nuts. Also, I can't zoom in. That's- I could've sworn I could use this. Maybe I can use it while- yeah, okay, I can use it while stop. That makes sense. That's fair. Huh. It's kind of- Blowing- that's exactly where the marker is. It's kind of blowing my mind how many- not- well, I guess pl not plot hooks, that's the wrong word for it. Uh, just hooks in general we've been getting. I mean, uh, I mean, l l look at this. We had- we have the- the- the, um, upheaval that we're going to be delving down into. We have, um, we have Miskow's Lost Treasures, which were- was, a uh, is a name from Breath of the Wild. And then we also have the Satori, uh, giving us these strange beacons of light. I have no idea what use they have. That was very extra, and I love you all the more for that. Thank you for blessing me with that. Ooh. Oh! Mm, oh, Link! I've heard that you and Princess Zelda have gone missing! I'm thrilled to see you alive and well, or I would be... If you were to ghost haunting me even now. But where is Princess Zelda? And Link? Oh, the voice speaks to me. So Princess Zelda and Link are still missing. If they were alive, they might want to talk to Lady Impa. Oh. She's investigating the geoglyphs that have appeared across the land. A curious name for this strange phenomenon. Almost as strange as the ghosts that I sometimes hear. Lady Impa believes that they're crucial for the search for Hyrule Zelda. <laughs> She's traveling in one of these new balloon contraptions and should be near this new serene stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with her, but I can't go anywhere nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. She can fly, ghost of Link. It's northwest. Bye. Wait. Ahem. <laughs> Maybe... Was he the ghost? Did I just meet with a spectral apparition?
Well then. I guess... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Way to ruin the moment, Elma! Way to ruin the moment, Elma! Give me your smelly seed. You... Poopy perverted fairy creature. <sighs> Onward to the stable. Where is it? That's the stable. I see smoke. And where there's smoke... Oh, wait. I, there's multiple smoke. Multiple smoke. Great. Great commentary, pal. There's multiple smoke. I will go to one of the smokes. I'll go to that one. Huh. Huh. They give us all these little pieces. I So I, I kind of figured out, I, or I remembered from one of the trailers that those aren't for like building houses. I, for some reason I thought they were. They're just, they're given to us to give us con pieces to make contraptions. That's really all it's there for. All right, a little encampment. Uh, let's talk to these people. So many plot hooks. This is, uh, this is insane. <laughs> uh, I've almost figured it out. Just a little more brainstorming and, hmm. Oh, you've got this, Dak. That treasure is as good as ours. Mm -hmm. Hang on a sec, prison. Hey, hey, you. We're having a private conversation here. Ah? Uh? Huh? What, what are you, and why have you been, and how long have you been here? Wait, are these the two brothers from, huh? um, from Breath of the Wild that we sniped a quest from, and they were in, like, the first stable we went to? I think it is. We found that chest there. First, it's ours. Fart knocker. <laughs> it, it, it's uh -huh. ours. Prison, cut it out. Uh. S sorry, Dak. Just slipped out. Uh. <coughs> it's killing my throat. Yeesh. We need to think about how to get that treasure. So do your job and keep watch. Got it, butt munch. As you can see, we're working here. <laughs> so buzz off. <laughs> that absolutely kills my voice. Wow. That was the wrong... I hope they never speak... Stay. 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 Stay where you are. Stay. Okay. So many plugs, man. It's crazy. We also... Don't have Cryonis. Which makes this exceedingly awkward. Unless it's not. It might not. It doesn't have to be awkward. You're not moving. Okay, you're fine. Don't run from me. You are my slave. I mean, my best. Hi. We're going to investigate that in a second. You are my best friend. And that is kind of working. Ooh, I almost fell off. Place this here. Okay. All right. Why is B? Yes. Perfect. And I can make that jump. Actually, I don't need to make that jump. Just grab it from here. Aha! I wonder... You know, I could just open this now. But I wonder... Especially since they give me that. I wonder if there's unique dialogue for these these guys. Ugh. Ugh. That. Ow. Uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be really neat if they had unique dialogue. And... It's worth finding out, even though it's going to kill my voice. Uh, almost got it. Almost. Maybe we can get the treasure chest if we... Huh? Hey. Bud Munch. Where'd the treasure go? Ah. Uh, the treasure. Oh, that guy took it. Huh? <laughs> Weren't you keeping watch? Huh. I was keeping watch. That guy took it. That fart knocker right, right there. I was watching him the whole time. Uh. <clears throat> you got to tell me these things. Uh, keeping watch means you have to do it more than just watch. Ah, <sighs> uh, well, can't get them all. No use crying about it. 
You know, you're pretty good. Almost as good as us at hunting treasure. Uh, huh? You're a treasure hunter too? Are you also going after Misko's... Uh? But much. Hush. Uh, sorry, just ignore him. Misko's treasure, you say? So much for the just ignore him gambit. There's no way you're also a treasure hunter if you don't know about Misko's treasure. So we can tell you a little. Misko was one of the greatest butt munches of all time. And he wasn't just a butt munch. He was also a fart knocker. R rumor has it that Misko's re renowned clothing collection is hidden somewhere in Hyrule. <laughs> oh. We think that clothes are hidden in the caves that appear during the upheaval. Like up ahead in the Elden region. You couldn't really... <laughs> okay, you know what? <coughs> These guys are killing my voice. But now everything's cooled down, the place all rocky and rugged. There are probably tons of secret caves, perfect for hiding treasure. <laughs> Fire knocker! What are you doing? I can only do the one voice now. Ha ha ha. Oops. That... Sure happened. Also, these are the same guys. That's kind of neat. More bomb, bomb flowers. There's probably going to be a time where I will scoff at that treasure, but that is not yet. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Where are my bombs? Look at that. That is awesome. We can throw bombs. It's not quite as good as being able to bowl bombs, like in, um, in Skyward Sword, but... It's the closest. It's a close second. Is there anything in the well? There's always something in the well. There's always money in the banana stand. Let's not. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. that's not what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. Put that over there. Closer. That's good enough. A bit closer. There we go. So many bright bloom seeds. Then th this is perfect. I'm I'm not complaining about that yet. We have how many of them? 82. Okay, I might start complaining about them. But that's still a great reward considering we're about to go into a cave system. And remember, our plan is to find a stable. Was there not? I guess there's this. Is there a boulder in here? No. I don't want to break that with a weapon. I don't have a rock. Huh. This is not ideal. Ah, we'll use a bomb. Sure. Uh, move this out of the blast zone. Ready my bomb throw. That was close. Luminous stone. Yeah. Now, here's my question about the luminous stone. Can we use that in caves? Can we attach that to weaponry? Because, I mean, uh, this... Oh, sorry. This didn't quite work out. This is kind of garbo. But maybe... Maybe luminous stone is different. Also... I've learned... You guys can stop telling me in the comments about <laughs> about ascend. I, I I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm getting it down. I'm I'm tr I'm starting to remember my tools, and not just when. <sighs> not just when the game tells me to. That's a stable. That's a stable. And that's a, a silent, silent princess. Oh, we can read this? I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Zelda. You know what? It just kind of feels wrong. Here, stay put, stay put, stay put, please. <laughs> What's over here? I, I gotta check this out. I gotta check this out. I saw a glow. I want to make sure that it wasn't, uh... Oh, oops, that's... 
into chest. Not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, let's equip... I don't really want to use that. <clears throat> yeah, let's use this up. Oh! This... Yeah, a little bit of AoE damage. Killing you. That's enough. Don't want to overkill these guys. Ow! Didn't expect that. Ow! Wrong button. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Kick me. Kick me. Idiot. Or do that. Whoa! Just get out of here. A little awkward. Moblin horn. Hard horn that resulted from a skull mutation? I... Um, you know what? Yeah. Let's test this baby out. I'm still at the phase of the game, and I, I guess I will be for a long time, where I, I just want to know what things do. Drop. Fuse. Broadsword. Okay. We have a 12 power. Not too shabby. We also have... Wrong button. Don't kill me. Okay. Ooh, that's a good... Ooh, I just thought of a good question. There is a chest... Uh, drop. There is a che there's a chest that spawns on a mountain that I I definitely need to remember to check out because it they mis they set the spawn point incorrectly. And as a result, it sp it spawns, falls like 10 feet and then careens down the mountain and I kind of want to check that. Of course, we're also going to check the T-posing Lizalfos. That's a must. Ooh, that's a deer. I love deer. Jump! Or not. Okay. I was gonna try and mount him, but I'll climb that. <laughs> Nothing. No, 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 no. Horse, horse. No, 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 don't, don't. You stupid. Get back here. No. No, don't, don't despawn. Don't despawn! Stop! 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 No! Ah! Horse! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, you're, you're fine! You're fine! You're fine! You're fine! Why do I have to tame you again? Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Wait, is this a different horse? This is a different horse! Where's my... Where's my real horse? No! Where'd he go? He's over there! He's over there! Huh. Horse! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Let's just get to the stable. We, we gotta get to the stable, man. It's right there. I can't stop at the finish line. Just go. Just go. Just run there. I don't care about any enemies at this point. I've had this horse through too much for me to lose him like a 50 feet away. Hi, please, please register my horse. You're probably not where I register my horse. You look like bards. Please, I've been through so much, you have no idea. Yeah. Thanks for coming in such bad weather. Ooh. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We, are, we also double as an inn. Hmm, it seems like you're not a member oh. yet. Our stable uses the members association system of membership. And it's stable. So you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask you for your name? Oh. Link, all right, Mr. Link, there. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Uh, I, pretty, I, I have that down. Is that so? Then well then, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, can I help you? Would you like to do one of the things I just mentioned that I am capable of doing? Ooh. You would. We understood. 
your horse will be in good hands. He has one strength, which means he is as weak as... Uh, he's pretty fast. He's stabbed and can pull things, which I don't even know what that means, but I'm just going to give you the stats. He's wild, but his temperament is... Wild. And he's at your max bond. What, do you want to register this, this little... Horse? That's because it's a horse? Oh. Normally, when you register a horse, we charge 20 rupees, but we've got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your horse, first horse for free. Well, then, I'll move on to the registration project. First, please enter a name for your horse. Are you sure you want to name this horse BA? That's right, fool. Now, enough of this senseless mm. jibber jabber. Name registered. You want to take it with you? Oh, board it. I'll take it. Because it is my first horse oh. of the game. B.A. Baracus. That concludes the registration process. Mm. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? Have you ever been able to whistle before? If you ever get separated from a horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. As I found out many times, by your horse, he's a magic, it can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Aww. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forget to point, <laughs> explain how pony points work. Ooh. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter how, what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Since this is not this is your first time visiting the Woodland Stable, and I see you've also registered a horse here, you get two pony points. I'll pony up and give them to you. Alright. Oh. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companion. Oh. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Mm. Come back again anytime. B.A. Baracus is our first horse. I'm so proud of us. Through thick and thin, through fire and flames and terrors flapping in the night. We have B.A. Baracus. Also, the cause of the sec my second death. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Well, what are rewards can we use here? Ooh. Let's end off the episode on this. I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to use your pony point? So you save up for Ooh. one more point and you receive a towing harness. Very useful item. You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. We appreciate your patronage. <laughs> awesome. I'm so happy we have a horse! Yes! Yes, and that's where I'm gonna end off the episode. <coughs> As I <coughs> killed my voice from various <coughs> voices. The Beavis and Butthead voices really kicked my butt. But next time, I don't know, we'll do something, probably. Oh. Welcome to the stable. Do you want to register yourself into the human stable? It costs money. Sure. Night, everybody. Mm. Oh. <coughs>